Hey guys, my name is Yaz. I am a youth pastor at Holy Trinity Brompton and I get the privilege of also being part of this family here in while I'm Urban Keep. And today I just wanted to speak a bit about faith and our faith journey with God and how sometimes we find ourselves trying to compare ourselves with other people and in their journey. And we see that we just want to be where God calls us, but other people making other decisions in the same seasons that we're in forces us to make sometimes really quick decisions or just moving out of God's timing. And this is what I want to speak to you guys about today, about God's timing, but also how sometimes the enemy can hard press us into a corner almost to make and force us to make decisions that we actually don't want to make them. And now, fair enough, there's sometimes decisions, how do you know if they're good or bad when they're both trying to glorify who God is? And it's not one of those things where it's like you choosing sin or life. It's actually sometimes we make good decisions because they edify and they bring and they build up the kingdom of God. But actually God doesn't want you to make those decisions yet. He says, hold the fire. And so that's what I want to speak about today. And we're going to look at um, 1 Samuel chapter 13. And I'm just going to pick out a few things. I'm not going to read it all. So if you've got your Bible, be active, take it out, make some notes, do what you can. Um, so the scripture is 1 Samuel 13, 6, all the way up until verse 14. So read it when you can and meditate on it and see what God speaks to you. But one of the things that I mentioned earlier, it's about when the enemy presses us, it forces us to fear and it forces us to doubt. And here the story is about Saul, King Saul, um, and he is about to take an army and God tells him specifically to do things in a certain way and to wait for Samuel so that both of them can give up an offering to the Lord and that they can defeat the enemy. Now, Saul sees that these people are coming and they're like coming guns blazing, like coming like to kill them. And what do they do? They hide. And we see in scripture that it says that they hide behind rocks, they hide behind trees in caves and some people fled. And so God here um, is trying to also show us that, look, in a moment of making decisions or in, or in your faith, the enemy is going to press. But also the enemy is going to put us in a place of, of trying to force us to make a decision because of that pressing, because of that fear, because of that doubt. And so what did Saul do? Um, Saul said to his men, because his men in verse, um, in verse 7, it says that his men were quaking with fear. And then afterwards, Saul told his, um, after his men scattered, he told the ones that were left to bring the offering so that he can give it to God. And also in verse 12, we see that he did not even ask the Lord for it. And then that we can see that Saul made a decision based upon other people's fears that influenced him to make an offering that was not for him to do alone, but for him to do with Samuel. And God teaches us to obedience and obedience that it brings a lot of fruit to us. And I know that because I have experienced it in my life, but I know that in a moment when I make an obedient step, whether it's to listen to my parents, whether it's to listen to the word of God or to um, my friends or to people who disciple me, I see that the fruit of it is wisdom and the fruit of it is self-discipline. And so here we can see that Saul made a decision without obeying the word of God, one, and two, we're doing it by himself and for, and so that he can do something for himself, thinking that he was pleasing the Lord. And so what does that mean for us today? What does that mean for you, wherever you are watching this? Well, look, we are facing some times which I think you've heard on and on and on and on and on. But actually, I think it's a wake up call. It's a wake up call to realize that God is calling us deeper into relationship, but not to make irrational decisions or to be panicked or to be in fear or to be in doubt. God is calling us to deeper intimacy with him, but to wait. And it says here, um, when Samuel saw everything that happened, he said, what did you do? And because of this, you have lost it all. Because of this, his decision that Saul made, he lost the kingdom. But guess what? God, in his mercy and grace, he brought up a man called David. And thanks to him, we have um, the Psalms, but also thanks to him, we have a great person seeking after God's heart. So today, how are you seeking after God's heart? How are you remaining and waiting just a tiny bit more to wait for the word of God to be fulfilled in your life? As we also see later on in this passage, it says, if only you had waited, Saul. If only you had waited a few minutes later because actually the Lord came and also Samuel came. So my question to you um, today is, what are you waiting for? What are the promises that God has 
said to you in this time? And also, what are you anxious about? Seeing other people's dreams being fulfilled, other people's promises being fulfilled. Are you being also um, challenged by trying to make those decisions as well because other people are? And if so, I encourage you to wait. Be still, Psalm 46 verse 10. Be still and know that he is God. In, in the good and in the bad, in all times, God is good. And remember that the fruit of obedience is wisdom and self-discipline. So let me pray for us to close this time. Father, I thank you so much for just the word. Um, and also I thank you for your word is alive and it continues to speak life into us. And Father, I pray that today, um, as we continue to step into what you have for us in the seasons that, you, that we are in with you, Father, that you continue to speak to us about patience, but also speak to us about obeying you. When you say move, we will move. When um, you say stay, we will stay. And Father, I pray that over every single person that's listening to this, continue to challenge us, Father, to, to seek only you and only your kingdom and everything else will follow. And Lord, if we are in a, in a moment where we find ourselves alone or we find ourselves comparing ourselves to, to others in the faith, Father, I pray that we just cut that off in the name of Jesus. God, bring your peace and also bring your revelation to us through this word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in week in and week out. If you haven't, take a look at all the other videos. I hope this has been fruitful to you as well in your walk with God. Um, and keep tuning in to the ones that are coming up soon. God bless. Bye.